Hello everybody and welcome to my weekly leaks and news video today with everything new which will join us in the near future with the upcoming update 9.3. Let's start here with the new weapon system we will get the Hurricane. Um, this is a medium long range rocket launcher and I think um, on the test server now this weapon is balanced so um the reload time is okay we have 1100 meter range and um yeah the damage output is great too uh, you can hide this rockets behind cover and um the cool thing is when the enemy is close to you you can see this here in this situation you can get him down in a good way too if the enemy is close to you it works like a normal rocket launcher in front of you everything will go down because yeah like I said, the damage output is great here and um, not so overpowered in this case. Okay, and Pixonic changed a little bit the animation here of this rocket. Looks amazing. Okay, then we are going to the new Titan and the new Titan weapons. So ability, Newton Titan, Choke and Long Shot. So we have a sniper shot on uh, 800 meter range and the cooldown is 50 seconds. And the choke ability 14 seconds cooldown and targeting distance 800 meter and how good this work and this can be a game changer in the game I will show you now here there is an enemy titan who have this ability on the left side you can see this here I play with the new weapons and he is uh, going now to me watch out now I'm going upstairs and now he can do a good amount of damage with the new weapons 800 meter range those weapons are made for the new titan and uh, sometimes a little bit tricky and I'm struggling to play this Titan but um, yeah, for tactical gameplay here I searching again for cover and he uses ability again and look at this so if he can hit me in a good way then I'm going very fast down um, but yeah the target was uh, other one behind me so this was my luck that I'm not be destroyed here from this Titan Let's change the look of few here. I use this ability again against the spider and together with my teammate we got him down in a good way. Okay, the titan looks strong in my mind, really feels good. I have to reload now my ability here and uh, trying to use the long shot. Boom, we got the triple bibble. Damage output is great, 800 meter range is amazing on this kind of weapons and um, here is another rook titan, oh here is a rook titan, maybe we can yeah, put him upstairs and look at this, the Sharanga going upstairs and <laughs> I got him down in a very good way. A flying Sharanga, this is, yeah, sweet, this is great. I really like um, the idea of the new ability of the Titan, so you can't search for cover if this Titan is at the battlefield because he always can get you down. Like in this case, wow, we got the Rook Titan down. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And here's another Sharanga. Maybe let's try to get him. I want to show you again this situation here. Let's see. Maybe let's get the spider first down with the yeah, sniper shot. And then here is the Sharanga using the ability again. Boom! <laughs> and the sniper is gone. So in the last Leaks and News video I showed you um, that the motherships will get a nerf and the Paladin it seems like too, the Eagle Shield durability from 375,000 uh, will go down to 325,000, the durability repair after Aegis deactivation from 175,000 to 125. For the Paladin players, I think not a big step backward, the Mothership will still be available and still good in my mind for uh, support your teammates and yourself. So here is again the full list of the Mothership Rebalance and Turrets, Northlight, Orion, Frozen Scorn, Aegis Plus System, Aegis Self System and Laser Blast Cannon. Let's see and let's try it out on the test server. If you tried it out on the test server, let me know in the comments what do you think about this nerf for the motherships. And last but not least, the new currency for the War Robots universe. I think a lot of people, yeah, starting threads and uh, talk about this, what will happen in update 9.3. Together with these changes, we are reconsidering the amount of gold you can get steadily by simply playing the game. Task rewards will get a substantial buff 
when all these changes set in buying processional instant upgrades will become a part of your normal progression regardless of your spending status and with memorium reserved solely for pilot level ups you won't have to think twice before investing in your roaster at the end of the day you will have to separate currencies both available in task reverts and each serving its distinct purpose so yeah i don't really know what to think about this um let's see what will happen in the near future um and what we will get with this update in 9.3 hopefully everything will be good and in the end it is made for the players okay so thank you for watching my nicks and news video today if you want leave a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell then you never will miss any of my videos thank you for watching and have a wonderful start into the new week we will see you soon bye bye and good luck i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really put up a fight and now i'm losing sleep